What's up Mega Man fans, Xalt here and we're back again with another Mega Man X Dive video. If you're watching this video, then you're probably a new player who's just started their game and you've come across one of the biggest stumbling blocks in the game. What I'm talking about of course is the power level requirement which varies from stage to stage. Even without upgrading anything, the game is very much playable until you hit about level 20 when you'll notice that your power level is significantly lower than that of the power level requirement for the stage. Now, for somebody who's a veteran and has been playing this game for a while now, it may not really be a challenge, but for somebody who's just starting the game, this can become a source of frustration. I mean, just take a look at the comments left by players on the App Store or in the Play Store and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So in this video, I'm going to give you five tips plus one bonus about how you can increase your power level in this game, Mega Man X Dive. Increasing your power levels can help you clear the game faster and can even help you if you're into PvP. So without further delay, let's jump right into it. Let's start with number one, which is also the most obvious tip. In order for you to increase your power level, you have to gain XP and level up. All your stats, such as your damage, your HP, and everything else are affected by your level. So your primary goal as a new player should be to level up. If you're a competitive player and you like the PvP aspect, I suggest you curb your excitement because you can easily get frustrated if you invest a lot of your time playing PvP. The matchmaking system is kind of broken right now, so even if you're just level 20, expect to be matched with somebody who has level 37 or level 40 to play against you, and that's going to be really frustrating. My suggestion instead is for you to complete the main story, which is where you're going to get a lot of your XP from, so that you can level up faster. If you also complete the events, co-op, and challenge sections for the first time, you can also gain XP from those. Now my second tip is for you to level up your characters of choice. Now my suggestion is you focus on two or three at most of these characters so that most of your resources only go to them. You're going to be better off having three characters with very high levels versus 10 or 15 characters that have meh stats. Focus on leveling up the active skills and passive skills of these characters. Collect enough memory fragments and rack up these characters so that you can unlock other skills which will further drive up your power level. You should also strive to get 3 stars for the missions you complete so that you can use the skip dive tickets so that you can farm faster. The skip dive tickets are there so that you can get the goodies from playing the stage without actually playing the stage. Tip number 3. Level up your weapons. The weapons you have equipped are the only ones that will affect your power level, so don't go crazy and try to level up all of your weapons. You can only equip one main weapon and one sub weapon, so my suggestion is you focus on upgrading those, not everything. Your weapon's maximum level cannot exceed that of your character, so when your character levels up, don't forget to level up your weapons as well. Your weapon also has passive stats, so make sure you upgrade it when available. Similar to the characters, you can also collect memory fragments which will allow you to rank up your weapon. If you rank up your weapon, you will be able to unlock more skills, which later you can level up, which will further drive your power level up. There's a resource management aspect to playing the game, so make sure you also pay attention to it. Most of the actions you perform in the game will consume some form of currency or resource, so you have to be deliberate when using or allocating these resources. You can further drive up your power level by equipping what is called a chip to your weapon. And that's going to be tip number four. Just like your character or your weapon, chips can also be upgraded. You can level them up, rank them up, you can analyze the chips, and that will all contribute to your power level. In order for you to benefit from the chip, you will have to equip the chip to your weapon. As you continue making progress in the game, you will have access to other chips. And similar to, you know, focusing on weapons and characters, focus on the chips which you feel would best contribute to your power level. Alright, moving along to tip number 5. Don't forget to equip and upgrade your armor. Now your armor is a shared resource which means that whichever character you're playing, they will have the same set of armor. You can further strengthen your armor with a specific cap depending on what level you're currently in. So the moment the option becomes available, go ahead and strengthen your armor and do not be afraid about using resources to upgrade your armor. Eventually, you will find better armor to replace what you currently have. The level of this new armor will start from the level of the armor that you're replacing. So if you have a headgear that is currently at level 20, if you replace that with a better armor, that better armor will start from level 20. So strengthen your armor whenever it's possible. And those are my five tips that will help you increase your power level. This will definitely help you whenever you're playing PvP, or this can help you clear the stages faster. 
And onto my bonus item. You've probably noticed that leveling up will require a lot of resources, and that's what this bonus tip is all about. When using Skip Dive, only gather the items that you need. Sell the items that you don't need and then spend your currency wisely. There's a section called Mission, which is where you can find your rewards by completing specific actions. For example, by completing the story X number of times, by doing co-op X number of times. Use it as your guide about what you're supposed to do next. So that way, your actions are purposeful, the time you spend playing the game is purposeful, and it's all for the benefit of increasing your power level. Don't forget to research items on the lab and research often so that you can upgrade your lab. If your lab becomes upgraded, you will have access to better memory fragments. You will use these memory fragments to upgrade your character, your weapon, and your chipset. And of course, all of these things translate to a higher power level, which is what we're after. Now, when you're buying items from the shop, make sure to buy wisely and only purchase the ones that you need. And finally, the gacha option, which is where you can use your hard-earned metal currency you'll be better off spending 1,000 element metals at a time, which will net you 10 different items versus buying individually. Because if you buy in bulk, you will increase your chances of getting an A or an S tier weapon or character. Oh, by the way, before I forget, if you play PVP, you can also get rewarded through a lottery system. The good news is you don't even have to play ranked matches in order for you to participate in the lottery. So when you find yourself running out of action points, just go to the PvP area and play some practice matches. That way you can participate in the lottery and get additional goodies such as element medals, memory fragments, and other items. And those are my tips to help you increase your power level in Mega Man X Dive. What do you think about this list? If I missed something or if you have your own set of tips, I'd like to see them in the comment section. I read them all the time. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and help the channel grow. For more Mega Man X Dive content in the future, stay tuned to my channel and as always, stay healthy, stop touching your face, wash your hands often, and stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Exalt signing off. Peace.